It's called New Amsterdam. Well, I can see I can't get a bottle of beer in here. I give up. Goodbye. <laughs> Gary is busy munching on sandwiches out in the hall. <laughs> I did make this happen. <laughs> you tried. Now he'll bring it in and go, Hey, Wolf, 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 Wolf. That's spewing out of his teeth. You're a tease, man. I'm sorry. I, I, Jackie was salivating. Yeah. What is it? I got Ganji out there. John, now, now watch. It'll come in. I'm done with the commercial. The I'm done with answered. the commercial. You can either have the phones answered or you can have a friggin' beer brought yeah, in. I'll That's tell you what. always your choice, That friggin' Howard. beer is how you're paid your meager right, wages. Right, and so your friggin' phones and getting guests on the show is how we get clients. In the show. What does John do while you're on the phone? I don't know. What does Ganji do? Organize your people. Get out, both of you. you get out of here. Get out. Phones. Get out of my studio. Get out. Get out of my studio. Don't throw it at me. Both of you. No. Get out. No. <laughs> you get mock anger. Get out of here, you. No, mock oh, anger, Gary. No. You go explain to Tom Chiasano why this beer isn't in here during the court. Now I'm you spending... You go explain to Tom Chiasano why we can't get the phones answered. We got to answer the phones. You mean there's three people... No, no excuse there's not me. Three With people. Robin's intern, there's four. No, no. Robin's intern isn't here. Oh, she's not there's here today. There's three people oh, here. Somebody's got to work on the computer. Yeah. That leaves They can't two. leave that computer for a second. There's a lot of other stuff that goes on. For a second, they can't leave the computer. Well, if someone was on the computer... You're doing a tight... You're running a tight... Did you have time no, to eat the chicken sandwich yet? No, I okay, haven't even good. touched it. All right, good. Well, hurry up and get it, because I don't want you to get hungry. <laughs> you're yeah. Turn it up, yeah, good, okay. You're a jerk. You're fired, Gary. Yeah. Go find a new job, and good luck to you and your new wife. Fine. Get out. Okay, we'll, get out and pack your things. Get out of we here. We won't live without you. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure everyone's knocking down your door. Listen, I, so Ice listen, cream delivery man. I'll sell the laser display. Somehow so leave. I'll live. So quit. So quit if you don't like it. Fire me so I can collect you're fired. All right. You're fired. Goodbye. Wish he'd go in a high-speed chase. You're like a married couple. I can't, I can't fire this guy. I fire him and he doesn't leave. He's, he stays around like a leech. I can't believe you. would already yelled, you're fired, you're fired. He says, so fire me. I know. He doesn't believe it. He's fired. He's gone. I don't answer to him anymore. Okay, so the beer, beer is sitting there, and i got to take now nine minutes on the commercial. <laughs> like, I, like, I don't have a seat. He doesn't know I'm backed up from here to tomorrow. Well, you can either have your phones answered or you yeah. can have everything else. Nothing can be done. And no, two <laughs> things can never be done on this show at the same time, can they, Robin? <laughs> boy, oh, it's boy. the phones or anything else. You should else. see how I hustled. My, you know what? When I started out in this business, oh, yeah. you know what, Howard, I answered my phone. In cave days. When you started out in this business, you didn't have five million listeners. I answered my own phone. You had phones. ten listeners up in I Westchester. I did my own news. <laughs> no, no, I'm, not talking about I'm talking about Hartford, Connecticut. I'm talking about you, the fact that I was on a 50,000 watt FM station. I did my own news. You're the number I did one my own show jokes. in New York. Ask Freddie what I used to You're do. The How many jobs did I do at the same time? You also did the job bank. Yeah, I did the job bank. I did the whole damn station. <laughs> Plus, I ran. I ran, wrote commercial copy while the records played. Howard, we yep. learn to do more than one thing at the same time. Hour, then you got your whole career. So you just get the beer and you figure out how you yeah, can do two things at the same time. More. You idiot! Make it so friggin' unfair. Friggin' unfair. We got more phone calls here in an hour than you got your whole life in Hartford. Because you got a lot of listeners. You're, you're a Gary, big organization I'll now. My show you're is a big no organization different. Organization with the same three. People All right, good. You know, you you were with me in Hartford. You know what I was doing. What did you do? It was a lot harder in Hartford now. than here. Now, you make sure the beer is here when I want it. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm You're fired. fired. Oh, Get out. I'm so what are you still doing here? Go look for a job. Hit the streets, pal. Unemployment. That's right. In two weeks. Good luck on your marriage. Your wife will learn what you are without me. Baba Booey. Oh, Stupid dear. dope. That's what I got for an assistant. Get the job <laughs> done for once. Screaming for the beer, the beer. He's on the phone. God knows who he was on the phone with. They oh, can't yeah. not, not answer those phones. Yeah, those Gary. phones are like uh, Yeah, those phones magnets. are like a magnet they to his head. Drawn he to can't the skip that phone for a minute. <laughs> but you know what it is? It's a dopey listener. There's salespeople yeah. out there yeah. Yeah. Go screaming ahead. about their breakfast. There's Tom coming by leaving messages that he's got to see you. There's always something going on. What was going on specifically while I was screaming for beer? What was going on specifically? I was on the phone Who taking with? phone calls from Who listeners. Who you on the phone with? But if, Howard, it's not a matter like from I listeners. heard... Listen, listen. Let me, just right. say, let me say this one thing. All right. It's not like I heard... You say you needed a beer, and I ignored you. If I'm on, I don't hear you. Do me a favor. Do you understand if, that? Does yes. that sink in? If you in? could organize an office out there, I where do. You've got backup. We, of I have. Gun. It, listen, it's. When I am the only paid right. employee All out right. there. Well, why don't you listen to me? Maybe you'll learn how to organize. You can't, how am I going to organize an office? What am I going to fire John because he didn't hear? He doesn't get paid anyway. Gary. Yes. John seems to be able to do 
a job. He's able to log in the computer. He's able to go out and do things. He has certain functions. Sure, that he he's, can a, he's great, but I'm just saying. Talk to him about the high priority of our sponsors on the air and getting to that commercial and getting to the product. Wouldn't it? Don't you? I think, don't want to spend listen, any Howard, more time on this. I have news to get to and more commercials. Don't to you get think? To. Get out of here, you what dope. Come on, put it up. Put Get out of here. I am not in the mood. I want to hear about Los Angeles. Come on. I want to hear we about LA. We got a riot right here. We got a riot right here. Where's the police? <laughs> oh, okay. Let me say one last thing. Don't you think that the real... Come on, put it up. Don't you think that the real way to organize this place would be if you knew that we were doing a spot or if you knew that you wanted beer today in the morning and say, you know what, we're doing the spot... Have the beer in instead of just waiting till the last minute all the time. If I'd have known, I probably would have screwed it up anyway. But I'll tell you what, I have do. a right to yell. You got a new job now. When you come in, and by the way, you, but you're how right. Do I know? You're absolutely right. I'm going to take your advice. You just hit it the nail on the head. Let me tell you about your new responsibility. What time do you get here in the morning? Uh, five thirty. Okay, I want you here now at five in the morning. Oh, when here I we come go in, the same time I come in, right. I want you here. You don't get in at five in the morning. Whatever time I'm here, I want you sitting here already. Right. And what you're going to do now is you're going to go through the log, mm -hmm. and you're going to figure out if there's any clients that need their product in here mm -hmm. for the commercial. Right. So now it is your responsibility. Do, so wait a second. Do now, every time we do New Amsterdam beer, do you want to be in here every yes. time? That's right. And you will ask me that question every morning. No, same. No, I won't question. even ask you. I will just bring it in. That's right. And that's you, your job. That's why you're going to be here extra early tomorrow morning. Now you want me to go over the log every morning yep, with you? that's right. You don't even want to talk to me about stuff we I don't need want to you do. to go over it with me. You're going to figure out if there is a product that needs to be put in the studio for the commercial. In other words, guess. Right. Your best guess. <laughs> and I'll bet you'll be able to figure it out. Okay. If it's a Snapple commercial, figure out how you're going to get a bottle of Snapple in here. If it's a beer commercial, you figure out how you're going to get the beer in here. So just get in here about 10 or 15 minutes earlier now, and you'll be fine. Okay? I'll take the log home with me the night before. Good. Study it. Good. That's a good idea. Because you know he's never coming in earlier. <laughs> Oh, he's coming in earlier. Oh, you Because now he has no one to blame. Don't hold your breath. Now he has no one to blame. <laughs> so now he's going to start his brain a little bit earlier. So it's up to speed by noon. I heard the interns out there screaming the other day because mm -hmm. something was happening and somebody needed to come in early. Yeah. And Gary says, you two, one of you has to cover the early shift. Work it out among yourselves. And they walked away and they said... How come he never comes in? Yeah, well, now he's now now the interns can feel glad because Gary just saw my problem. He's right. He says, gee, uh, how, how can't you figure out, Howard, what you need in here early? <laughs> so what should I do? Come in 15 minutes early? Gary's going to come in and figure out what I need. You're going to check with the sales department every day, and you're going to find out what you need in here. Okay, he's smart. The kid figured it out. <laughs> I'd like to see it put into practice. So now there's no excuse for nothing being in here. All right. All right, Robin, go ahead. What with time do you expect him tomorrow? I expect him about 5.15. All right, I want to see that. All right. Up. Oh. <laughs> Freddie's holding up a commercial. This is line. what I'm talking about. This idiot is arguing with me. I could have had this conversation off the air. We would have appeared to be a much more professional. <laughs>